Endolite North America, leading prosthetics into the 21st century and beyond, making a difference in the lives of amputees and their families, presents Fitness for Everyone. Thanks for joining us today, folks. By making a conscious effort to follow along with this videotape, you've taken the first step to improving your fitness and your overall health. Remember to set realistic goals for yourself and be consistent in your training, because fitness is for everyone. Before you begin exercising, it's recommended that you wear comfortable clothing such as shorts or sweatpants, a t-shirt or sweatshirt, and tennis shoes. Make sure that you have a chair or countertop to hold on to in order to maintain your balance. Standing and holding onto the chair is taught as demonstrating. Place your prosthetic leg behind you. Keeping your back straight, lean forward with your hips until you feel a stretch in the front of your thigh. Hold this position for a count of 10 while breathing slowly. Now place your sound leg behind you, making sure your heel is flat on the floor and your back is straight. Lean forward until you feel a stretch in your calf and maintain this position for a count of 10 while breathing slowly. Dennis will now demonstrate the stretch for below knee amputees. Keeping your back straight, Place your sound leg behind you, making sure your foot is flat on the floor. Lean forward with your hips until you feel a stretch in your calf. Hold this position for a count of 10 while breathing slowly. Now place your prosthetic leg behind you, keeping your heel flat on the floor and your back straight. Lean forward with your hips until you feel a stretch in the back of your leg and remaining heel cord. Hold this position for a count of 10 and breathe slowly. This stretch can be done sitting in a chair or sitting on the floor as Todd and Dennis are demonstrating. Keeping your back straight, Spread your knees apart until you feel a stretch in the muscles along the inside of your thighs. Hold this position for a count of 10 while breathing slowly. Sitting in a chair or on the floor and keeping your back straight, cross your right leg over your left. Gently pull your right leg with your left hand while turning your body and head to the right until you feel a stretch in the outer part of your right thigh. Hold this position for a count of 10 while breathing slowly. Slowly release this position and cross your left leg over your right leg. Gently pull your left leg with your right hand and turn your body and head to the left until you feel a stretch in the outer part of your left thigh. Hold this position for a count of 10 while breathing slowly. For above knee amputees, it's important that you do not pull too hard on your socket or the suction may loosen. Todd is demonstrating the correct way to pull your prosthetic leg towards your sound leg. If you cannot completely cross your leg, bring it over as far as you can until you feel a stretch. Sit on the floor with your back straight and right leg out in front of you or in a chair with your right leg supported on another chair. Lean forward with your chest towards your right knee 
until you feel a stretch underneath your thigh or in the back of your knee. Hold this position for a count of 10 while breathing slowly. Now place your left leg on the chair or extend your left leg out in front of you if you're sitting on the floor. Lean forward with your chest and hold for a count of 10 while breathing slowly. If you are lacking flexibility and cannot straighten out your knee, you can place a towel roll under your knee to prevent strain to your knee joint. It's important that you keep your back straight and lead with your chest, not your shoulders and head, while doing this stretch. Sitting in a chair with your back straight and placing your hands underneath your right thigh, lift your thigh up towards your chest until you feel a stretch either in the back of your thigh or in your low back. Hold this position for a count of 10 while breathing slowly. Now do the same stretch with your left leg and hold this position for a count of 10, again while breathing slowly. Lying on your back, as Dennis is demonstrating, bring your right leg towards your chest, gently pulling with your hands until you feel a stretch in your low back or in the back of your thigh. Hold this position for a count of 10 while breathing slowly. Now do the same stretch with your left leg, holding this position for a count of 10 and remember to breathe slowly. Before you begin the strengthening exercises, make sure you have a chair or countertop to hold onto, or better yet, a partner such as your spouse or significant other to assist with balance. It's important that you place the TheraBand on your prosthesis correctly. If you have a long residual limb, you can tie the TheraBand around the ankle. If you have a short residual limb, you should tie the TheraBand at the end of the socket as Dennis is demonstrating. For above knee amputees, it is recommended that you tie the TheraBand around your socket as Todd is demonstrating. Stand and face away from the chair with the TheraBand tied around your prosthesis. Move your prosthetic leg forward while maintaining correct posture. Movement should be slow and controlled. Do 10 repetitions while breathing slowly. Now place the TheraBand around your sound leg and move your leg forward in slow, controlled movements while maintaining correct posture. Do 10 repetitions while breathing slowly. Stand with your sound leg closest to the chair. Move your prosthetic leg out to the side, away from your body. Movements should be slow and controlled while maintaining correct posture. Do 10 repetitions. Now place the TheraBand on your sound leg and stand with your prosthetic leg next to the chair. Move your sound leg away from your body while maintaining correct posture. Do 10 repetitions slowly.
stand facing the chair with the TheraBand tied around your prosthetic leg. Move your leg behind you while maintaining correct posture. Do 10 repetitions slowly. Now place the TheraBand around your sound leg and move your leg behind you. Maintain correct posture while doing 10 repetitions. Stand with your prosthetic leg close to the chair and TheraBand tied around your prosthesis. Move your prosthesis away from the chair towards your other leg. Do 10 repetitions while maintaining correct posture. Now tie the TheraBand around your sound leg and stand with your sound leg next to the chair. Move your leg away from the chair towards your prosthetic leg. Do 10 repetitions while maintaining correct posture. If you are unable to stand and do the TheraBand exercises, you can lie on the floor and do all the exercises as Todd is demonstrating. Lying on your sound side and keeping your back straight, lift your prosthetic leg towards the ceiling. Lying on your prosthetic side with your sound leg crossed behind you, raise your prosthetic leg towards the ceiling. Lying on your back with your sound leg straight, raise your prosthetic leg towards the ceiling. Lying on your stomach, raise your prosthetic leg towards the ceiling. The following exercises are more advanced and can be done by above knee amputees and below knee amputees regardless if you have a temporary or definitive prosthesis. All these exercises are for strengthening your residual limb and to improve control over your prosthesis during ambulation. Standing and holding onto a countertop or chair for support, maintaining proper posture, raise your prosthesis up to your hip level. Push your thigh against the back wall of your socket to bring your prosthesis towards the floor. Repeat this sequence quicker. Push against the front wall of your socket, raising your prosthesis within your full range of motion, and push against the back wall of your socket to lower your leg towards the floor. Try to repeat this five times in the beginning and work your way up to one to two minutes. This exercise is to help with eye-to-foot coordination and control over your prosthesis. Place two X's on the floor. Standing on one X with your sound foot, push against the front wall of your socket until your knee bends slightly, and then quickly push against the back wall of your socket, causing your prosthetic foot to be placed on the second X. Placing pieces of tape on the ground in the form of a grid with numbers printed on the tape have your exercise partner call out a number and quickly place your prosthetic heel on the number. Do the same exercise with your sound leg. This is an excellent exercise for helping to improve your balance.
below knee amputees can do this also for balance training and proprioceptive training. Focusing on bringing around quickly, take quick and small steps with your prosthetic leg and normal steps with your sound leg. Improve strength in the residual limb, which in turn will improve prosthetic control during normal ambulation. You will push off slightly with your sound leg to initiate the movement. Start with five repetitions and increase slowly. For below knee amputees, step up with your prosthetic foot first. This exercise by leading with your sound leg first. effort to train two to three times a week. <laughs> what? Thank you for joining Todd and I. <laughs> Todd and I, is, it is Todd and me? Yeah. Is it? I guess. Hi folks, thanks for joining Todd and <laughs> Why are you Thanks for joining Todd and me today. What did you say? I? Todd and me. Aye. No, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Thanks very much for joining us today. <laughs> That's all? Are they just supposed to... <laughs> By making a conscious effort to put this tape in the VCR. <laughs> that your fitness level and health will improve dramatically. It's such a wonderful what a, world. What a, what a wonderful world. Oh, what a wonderful world. What a wonderful world it is, right? Hi, folks. Thanks so much for joining us today. By being, what, what did I say? <laughs> I'm sorry. By making a conscious effort to follow along with this videotape, you've taken the first step to improving your fitness and your overall health. Remember to set realistic goals for yourself and be consistent in your training because fitness is for everyone.